guys, Dusk.io back with another video, and tonight I have the Rogan Foreman. Yes, I've been in this. I wanted to get a feel for it and to understand it before I made this review. And I already made an attachment. So, I got two little Rogan stickers in here. This is a cool little Rogan card. And uh, up here it shows you how to wrap your own handle if you don't like the paracord that comes with it. They have multiple color options. Um, dig, split, pry, hammer. There's their website. Made in the USA. And uh, if you really wanted to, you could use this as a bookmark. It's kind of that size. If you read, that is. Seems less common these days. And then here we've got the, like, basically certificate of authentication. And then further, with that aside, we have the actual foreman. So we get on this an inch measurements. The edge is right facing when standing up. It has a uh, sort of chisel grind with, it's not sharp because it's meant for prying and digging. This thing is heavy, okay? This thing is heavy. So uh, if you're expecting something a little bit more pocket friendly, this, uh, this definitely isn't it, even though that's how I'm carrying it and will probably continue to carry it. And then I have attached a, one of the oldest high brass bead cow beads here. Let's get this off screen. I'm going to measure the length and total. We've got, there we go, in metric. And further in inches. My eye, right about there. Take that as you will. I've also got a little scale here. Let's warm it up. What am I on there, bud? That's weird. Mood. Come on. There we go. Got As it reads, we've got seven point eight ish ounces. So yeah, this is a chunk of metal. I have HRC hardness tested this. I do not have my testers on me at the moment or I demonstrate it again, but you can see the scratches there. This came in at a surprisingly low rating of about 51 to 52. I don't know if that's consistent throughout all the tools, but that means that this will be prone slightly to dinging, scratching, and uh, dents. But at the same time, it might be better for the steel, considering the fact that a pry tool, um, being that, shouldn't snap on you. This is more likely to want to bend, which means that it's simply less brittle. And while the edge will take dings in the process of everything you do, this is less likely to break in general. So I think that was done intentionally. The overall finish is uh, slightly off, but considering these, from what I understand, are basically all still handmade, that's not to be unexpected. Some of these deflections here are my own doing because I've been carrying it for about a week now. Um, you can see this extreme grain here. You can even feel it. And uh, the inch measurements seem to be etched in. I can feel them, as well as the Rogan logo. So, 
I'm going to be carrying this for two weeks, and I'm going to demonstrate everything I do with it. So far, all I've really done is pry up hotel pans at work. It's really good for that. You get under there, lift. It's great for that. And uh, being a kitchen worker, I'm going to have less uses for this in general, but I feel like it'll be one of those tools that when you actually need it, it will be irreplaceable. Um, your Leatherman isn't going to do any of the same prying, any of the same digging this can do. And uh, I will indeed have footage of me testing to see if this will split wood as it says here. And I will test hammering. Um, it, it says 10 stakes, so I'll find something equivalent to hammer into hard dirt. And the dig. I'll, I'll make little videos demonstrating all of that for the second video, the update on this. Alright guys, it's a little bit of a shorter video, but there isn't much to cover. Overall, what are my thoughts? I feel like, personally, I'd rather have this on this side. But that's because I'm more inclined to think of a knife's angle, I suppose. It, it just feels a little um, weird. But... Maybe not bad. I'll see. Another thing. The paracord seems nice. And again, you can feel where they've looped it. Just like they show on the little bookmark. There is a nice bevel. There, where you can still see tooling marks. Which is kind of cool. And, uh, yeah. Alright, guys. I'll be back with more. Transmex, as always, the sponsor. Check these guys out. Taylor Spice Co. in the description below. You can read the ingredients there. And this stuff is good for everything. I just had burgers with it. Best burgers ever, I swear. You can put this on chicken. You can put this in mashed potatoes. Just anything you can think of. Pour this in ramen, even, I've heard some people say. And it just makes it better. It's an overall flavor enhancer. Try this seriously it's great stuff and you'll go to support the channel have a good night guys i'll see you next time